My name's Danielle, I'm 18 years old. I study here at West Knotts College, but I'm leaving in just a couple of months, so I really need to start planning my future and decide what I want to do. One of the questions I keep asking myself is, do I need to go to university to be successful? Over the next three days, I'm going to in search of my answer. I'm going to see just how successful I can be without a degree. The idea of travelling and seeing the world whilst working sounds like an option whilst I'm so young, as I never thought about going to university at an older age. But with travelling on my mind, I know just the man to talk to. So George, as you know, we leave college uh, shortly. I haven't got a clue what I'm planning on doing, so what are your plans on, will you? Um, well, I've known for quite a few years now that I don't want to go to university. It's not for me. I might be going to it to, in the future, but I've got other commitments now. I want to explore and travel places. So I'm going to Australia for 11 months in July, which is a couple of weeks after I finish my college course. And I'll be an activity instructor over there. And uh, there's, it's for 18 to 25 year olds, so it's mainly young people that either want to go to, that want to go to uni, aren't doing that anymore. They're going travelling and exploring other places. So is it just the activity instructors you're going to be 18 to 25 or? Yeah, what, it's what? 18 to 25 year olds that go over there and they can gain qualifications, be an activity instructor and uh, the schools that come in that you help out and there's businesses that come in and you help them do activities and things. And I've always wanted to live abroad and be an activity instructor for quite a few years anyway. Because I am i don't really want to study anymore because I've been in school and college long enough. I want to go out and be independent and enjoy life. So what's your opinion on university? Um, I personally think that people are pressured into it. Um, from my school life, I, the teachers pressured me into doing it and I was more the outsider. But it's just... Some students just think it's the only option because that's what teachers and some parents force them into doing it because a career to start off with early is a very good starting point. Whereas with me going to Australia and doing travelling, and if I come back from that, I've got nothing here. But it's a risk that people need to take instead of doing the safe option and just getting a career early. You need to explore life and get experience from it. Do you think that you need to go to university to be successful? Well, I personally feel that students are uh, pressured to go to university because that's all schools and well in my experience school has told told every single student to apply for UCAS and go to university and I was the only one that didn't want to go because I wanted to do travelling but I couldn't do that because of financial problems so I went to college to do something that I enjoyed at, at doing A level but um, schools always pressured the students into going to university they had the best intentions but the only thing, the only other options they gave us were apprenticeships. They never said to travel and explore the world. But when it comes to university and success, I think if you're driven to do something and you can see yourself doing it in the future, you will get there. You don't need to go to university to be successful at what you want to do. Because people start businesses up from scratch with no qualifications and they reach some sort of success. It might be a small success or big success depending on what they define as being successful. Like someone's success might be to raise a family and to live near the beach or something. But some of the success is just all money orientated and qualifications and a goal to reach. I suppose that's influenced by role models and everything. Do you think that it's more important to get a degree or uh, the actual experience? I think the experience because um, with the job situation and how there's not many jobs going around and it's hard to get them. If you've had experience, like me, I've, always, I've been employed since I was 15 and if I go for a job application or anything, they might look at people's qualifications but then again they'll look at the experience they've got. So if someone's got more qualifications than me and I've got more experience, then it's up to the, what the employer wants. So in the long run, it's even but in society I think that people are pressured to go to university because it's all about the letter on the paper. But I think it's about earning your way, gaining respect and how the working life is pretty much. On my second day class, I was ready to find the man with my plan. So I've come to our local business and searched for an answer. Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm from Virgin Cree in West Notchett College. Good afternoon. My name's Carl Smith from Nottingham District Gun Club. Um, I've come to talk to you today about whether you think that you have to go to university to be successful. Absolutely not. 
did you not go to university yourself? No. I left school at 15. Went back and sat my exams when I was 16 and just went out and got a job. I was never going to be a doctor or a lawyer or a solicitor. So work was my path and I believe that people should go out and work for a living and work their way up through the ranks than spend years and years and years in education that's never going to do them any good. What was your first job? My first job, I started working in this industry actually, in the clay pigeon shooting industry when I was 10. Mm -hmm. When legally you could work when you were 11, so I started when I was 10. Um, we were very much brought up as children with a work ethic right from day one. You, you weren't your pocket money, you weren't the right to be able to go out and buy new clothes. So you started at a very young age. So at 10 years old I was working all the way through my school career. We used to do every Sunday and we used to work two evenings a week and then everybody had a paper round. It was just the given that you did a paper round. Um, when I left school I actually went into a nursing career because originally I wanted to get into medical rather than anything else. Um, but uh, then at 17, I met a young lady, we had a child, so the nursing career couldn't continue forward because I couldn't afford to be in education and married with children. So if you had to employ someone, you had two candidates, and one had four years of experience and then one had a degree, who would you employ? I would always employ somebody with life experience. If you've got a university degree, you've got no experience of life whatsoever. What would you, what's your opinion on uh, apprenticeships? I think apprenticeships are great. I think apprenticeships are a good way for people that can't read, can't write, can't spell and aren't quite sure of their own address to get into a working environment and learn through life skills. Do you do apprenticeships um, here? We do, yeah. What type of apprenticeships do you do? We do, mainly we do a customer service apprenticeship. Um, <laughs> some of the young lads that I take on literally are at a point where they can't tell the time. They can't write, they can't read very well, they can't spell, they can't count very well. And it's a case of either we help them and put them on an apprenticeship or they're just thrown onto the scrap heap. Um, we started 10 years ago literally with one member of staff, myself and my brother. Um, my brother has since left the business and there's just me now and we've worked it up now. We've got about 15 staff in total. Would you employ someone as an apprentice if they had no experience within this business? I would like to find somebody that I could employ that has got any experience of this business. So if they had experience within customer service but they didn't have it is within like your shooting, would that matter to you? Or? Um, we, we try and base our employment schedule really on, on people rather than so much of qualifications because you can get somebody that's very, very intelligent, but cannot deal with being outside, cannot deal with people. So you can get somebody that's sat in a classroom and done a customer service educational scheme that's never actually been outside and dealt with any customers face to face. They have no idea how to treat people. You very much, in most industries, you've got to be able to deal with every type of individual. So you'll get some customers that will come that are very rude and you'll get some that will come every single day just for a cup of tea because they're very lonely and you have to be able to deal with people as individuals. You can't learn that on a university degree, you can't learn that at college, you learn that through life and through actually developing the skills of being able to deal with people. So when we interview people, we're interviewing them based on their character and their personality rather than what qualifications they've got. And I think most industries do exactly the same. It was amazing to listen to Carl's story of how he got where he did today and didn't want to even consider going to university. To see how successful he became is encouraging. Day three is for me to find someone with a degree. As I wandered around the college, I spotted just the man. I knew for a fact that he would be a good person to talk to with him only being fresh out of university, he will still have the experience on his mind. Hi Sam, um, I've come today to talk to you about university and whether you um, have to go to be successful. So, did you go to university? I did, yes. And did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. Yeah, yeah it what was good. What did you study? I studied music, performance, music theory and music technology. Did you stay there for the three years and pass it as well you didn't drop out? No, I didn't drop out. No. Yeah, I stayed through the whole year, three years. What did you, you do after university? After university, I, um, I did quite a bit of touring while I was there. Um, as a musician and um, quite a bit of touring afterwards but I, um, I started my own um, teaching 
business, I suppose you could call it a business. Um, I was doing private lessons, private guitar lessons, um, based at home and also from a shop in Knotts. Um, and then I came to work at West Knotts College. If it wasn't for if it wasn't for being at uni, I don't think I'd have landed this job. So how did you get your job here? At West um, well, obviously I went I went to college at West Knotts, and I know some of the tutors. And um, I was just chatting with with um, with the guys on the who who on the music course, and um, I was I was thinking about I, I did want to teach here at college level, um, and like I said, I'd done a, done some private tuition, and I thought about doing some teaching at a college level, and they said, why don't you why don't you apply for a teaching course, and um, which I didn't know you had to have at the time. So I enrolled on a teaching course, and um, here I am. Over the past three days, I've heard lots of good evidence. I heard the positives of going to university and studying something I'm passionate about, as well as being reassured that university is not for everyone, and that not having a plan is not the end of the world. I still don't have my answer, but I do have a lot to consider and think about for my future.